nucleus cell cycle nucleus is the obligatory and important part of cell functions storage of genetic information in genes of chromosomes a realization of genetic information through the translation and transcription reproduction and shipping of genetic information to the daughter cells neuron mitosis the shape of nuclei depends on the shape of cell if cell is square round or star in shape the nucleus is round if cell is flat the nucleus is also flat if cell is spindle shape nucleus is rod shape size of nuclei were between 4 and 10 microns it can be many nuclei in the simplasts this is example of nuclei of the round spherical shape and rod like shape in smooth muscle cells structure components of the nucleus a nuclear membrane or nuclear envelope nucleoli chromosomes or chromatin nuclear skeleton and nuclear plasm nuclear membrane or envelope under transmission electron microscopy the right side uses a part of nuclei left side the cytoplasm is rough and plasmic reticulum nuclear envelope has inner biological membrane and outer membrane and perinuclear space between there are holes called pores in the nuclear envelope nuclear pores frozen fracture followed by scan electron microscopy is the surface of nuclei where the outer membrane broken and you see the numerous nuclear pores like craters on the moon surface and you can see the pores are not simple holes there is something inside the higher functional activity of cell the more pores uh, this transmission electron microphotograms and high magnification shows the nucleus and cytoplasm and nuclear envelope between and nuclear pore with uh, pore complex inside it consists of one central and eight pairs of peripheral granules protein globules connected by fibers protein fibers and it looks like diaphragm diameter of pore between 90 and 120 nanometers and there are up to 3-4000 spore per cell pore complex provides the specific permeability for transport of substances between nucleus and cytoplasm chromosomes in this picture during mitosis when they highly spiralized highly condensed maximally condensed 
there is the primary constriction or kinetic core against its location chromosomes divided into metacentric with equal arms submetacentric like here and acrocentric when uh, one arm is much longer than another there are also secondary constrictions which separate satellites every chromosome 3-5 microns long contains two DNA molecules as long as 5 centimeters so the DNA in chromosome highly condensed highly spiralized about 10 or even 20 thousandth times how it happened you see here the double helix DNA molecule 2 nanometers wide it rotate around protein complexes consist of 8 molecules of gistones and DNA two times rotate around and this structure called nucleosome and this uh, chain looks like beds on a string this thickness 11 nanometers at the first level of condensation spiralization next when nucleosomic string coiled into the chromatin fiber 30 nanometers thick then it's folding and chromonem fiber 300 nanometers thick appeared then it folded again and uh, chromatid 700 nanometer thick appeared and two chromatids compose the metaphase chromosome these two final level of spiralization typically when uh, the cell prepared to mitotic division and first two levels in interface nuclei and uh, first level of spiralization provide possibility for transcription to matrix DNA biosynthesis and this called eochromatin, active chromatin and second is inactive chromatin or heterochromatin and uh, chromatin is precipitated under fixator DNA and proteins or chromosomes precipitate in interface nuclei and our chromatin provide small granules of chromatin a heterochromatin large granules karyotype set of human chromosomes consists of 22 pairs of somatic and one pair of sex chromosomes question what sex of a human being does this a diagram belong to certainly to the woman because here you see two X chromosome chromatin precipitated chromosomes in the interface nuclei L chromatin a incondensed active part of chromatin at light microscopy and at electron microscopy level and getrochromatin condensed chromatin you see the grains 
sex chromatine it's one X chromosome in woman because it's always inactive and condensed you can find this chromatin or bar body in uh, any nuclei but especially nice it looks at neutrophil segmented leukocyte of blood so and this feature used in forensic medicine for the for true sex determination nucleoli are formed in the nucleoli organizing centers the secondary constrictions of five pairs of the specific chromosomes so in these uh, regions of chromosomes encoding ribosomic RNA you see nucleolize one three micron size and at the electron microscope it consists of two parts parts filamentosa the uh, ribosomal RNA fibers and DNA fibers and peripheral part is pars granulosa consist of ribosome subunits and this is uh, the schematic drawing of nucleus and nucleolus and DNA molecules go through in the center and ribosomal RNA transcripted here this is the central fibrillar part of the nucleus and these chains fibers of R uh, RNA condense it and connect it with ribosomal proteins synthesized in the cytoplasm and uh, ribosomal subunits appeared then transported through the nuclear pores to cytoplasm where they combine together and form the ribosomes itself nuclear plasm like heloplasm is the true solution of biopolymers nuclear skeleton is protein fibers up to 30 nanometers thick and lamina it's condensed part of nuclear skeleton located just under the nuclear membrane like submembrane layer in the cell membrane provides the shape of nuclei cell cycle is a period from cell birth till death or next division it divided into two main phases mitosis and interface interface in turn is divided into three phases G1 postmitotic period when the cell daughter cell growing and reach the size of uh, mother cell S synthetic period spirit of DNA synthesis or reduplication and G2 period primitotic period when cell prepared to mitosis accumulate energy in ATP and uh, synthesis of tubulin for microtubules of metodic spindle formation and so on <laughs> dependent of specificities of cell cycle there are three population of cells mitotic runevin cells 
which in G1 period just after growing it uh, enters the S period and uh, prepare to next division so this type of cell dividing permanently provisional postmetotic or stable population that cells daughter cells after mitosis they grow in specialized differentiated and sometimes carry out their specific functions like liver cells or kidney cells then if necessary they return to G1 and enter the synthesis synthetic period G2 period and enter to mitosis and third population of cells postmetotic or static population then uh, cells one appeared usually during embryogenesis before birth of human uh, they never divided they grow in differentiated and carry out the specific function this population include nerve cells and cardiomyocytes you see the prophase metaphase, anaphase and telophase in minutes and interphase G1, S, and G2 periods in hours metosis consists of four phases in prophase the condensation of chromosomes take place the chromosomes became visible and nuclear envelope disappeared and nucleolus also disappeared and metodic spindle start to grow in metaphase chromosomes arrange and in equatorial plane and spindle completed microtubules of metodic spindle connected this every chromosome in uh, anaphase chromosomes start to migrate to poles and finally reach the poles cited to me take place and in telophase the cell dividing to two daughter cells and chromosome uh, desperalized and became invisible and nuclear envelope appeared as well as nucleolus became visible you see the interface cell is nucleus, nucleolus and inspiralized invisible chromosomes in prophase chromosomes became visible in prophase they located in equatorial plate like here and here and in anaphase they move to the poles anaphase late anaphase the similar figures of mitosis you can find in animal cells but they are not so good visible but anyway this is metaphase the mother star metaphase metaphase and anaphase 
and profess this is a nice picture of mitosis in fluorescent microscope when DNA by a red color and microtubules in blue color and this is an interface cell nucleus no chromosome visible and in prophase chromosomes became visible metaphase they located in equatorial plate and metodic spindle microtubule then anaphase early and late anaphase and telophase when new daughter cells appeared the chromosomes in late prophase fluorescent in blue color by blue color and microtubules of achromatic methodic spindle fluorescent by green color this is a metaphase of mitosis visible in electron microscope chromosomes located in equatorial plate and cell centers consist of two centrioles in the poles and metodic spindle microtubules connected to chromosomes what phase of mitosis is it? it's late anaphase or early telophase so cells are the least alive unit of the body and there are five scenes of alive cells definite structural organization metabolism exchange of substances with environment constant cell renovation and reproduction irritation and excitement especially typical for nerves and muscle cells and movement movement of the cells itself and movement inside the cytoplasm and nucleus regeneration renovation it mean uh, production of the new cells by division and intracellular regeneration light cells the membranes uh, protein complexes organelles are replaced for the new and new one and the old defected organelles and membranes digested by a lysosome during autophagy forms of cell death necrosis and apoptosis necrosis then cells under unfavorable environment action of physical and chemical effects the membranes changed the organelles uh, defected the intracellular damages intercellular defects accumulated and so not able to repair it and when the chromosomal defects accumulated uh, the nucleus cannot regulate the reparation of the structures and cells died destroyed and phagocyted by macrophages and disappeared apoptosis 
begin this activation of genes responsible for self-destruction starting cell death program it initiated by a special signal or absent of usual chemical signal and calcium ions release from the places of storage and they activate nucleases in the nucleus and they destruct DNA for fragments and nucleus fragmentation take place and this fragment of nucleus covered by cytoplasm and apoptotic bodies appeared and these fragments of cell may further die by necrosis and phagocyte by macrophages. Interaction of cell structure and metabolism in synthesis of protein and non-protein substances in the cell. Shortly, all structural components of cell participate in this process. Nucleus provide information for that. It produce matrix RNA and other type of RNA, subunits of ribosomes, which enter the cytoplasm. Ribosomes connect to the surface of rough endoplasmic reticulum, connected to its matrix RNA and protein biosynthesis take place. These proteins enter the lumen of canals of rough endoplasmic reticulum. They are sorting, accumulating, processing, storing, packaging into granules and accumulating in apical portion of cell and when it necessary release by exocytosis. In this process take place the cell membrane as well as it take place in transport of processes of proteins like amino acids and mitochondria provide energy to the process of protein biosynthesis and cytoskeleton provide the transport of substances and organelles inside cell and lysosome digest the defected organelles and so on so, in general, all structural components of cell participate in protein biosynthesis for export.